pleased to introduce Nancy Rosenstengel to the committee. She's been nominated to serve as district court judge in the Southern District of Illinois to fill the judgeship in East St. Louis left vacant by the retirement of Judge Patrick Murphy in December. Ms. Rosenstengel knows the East St. Louis courthouse very well. Currently serves as clerk of the court for the Southern District, a position she's held since 2009. She's the chief administrative officer for the court, responsible for the day-to-day -day management functions of the court, and she's received widespread praise for her handling of this responsibility. Previously, she served for 11 years as judicial law clerk to Judge Murphy, the judge she's nominated to replace. As Judge Murphy's uh, uh, career law clerk, she assisted him in hundreds of civil and criminal proceedings during all stages of litigation. It's hard to imagine a better training for judgeship. Ms. Rosenstengel also worked for five years in private practice at the law firm Sandberg, Phoenix, and Van Gontard in St. Louis, where she handled a broad range of litigation matters. Born in Alton, Illinois, currently lives in Belleville, Illinois, received her BA cum laude from the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign, or JD cum laude, from Southern Illinois University School of Law. Uh, Ms. Rosenstengel's nomination is historic. No woman. No woman has ever served as an Article III federal judge in the Southern District of Illinois. Upon confirmation, Nancy Rosenstengel will be the first, and I'm sure she'll do an outstanding job. I want to thank my colleague, Senator Mark Kirk, for his support of this nomination as well. In Illinois, we have a bipartisan process for recommending judicial candidates to the White House, and we have had a pretty good record of bringing forward some outstanding nominees for a very timely confirmation. I hope this will be no exception. I'm sure it won't be. Ms. Rosenstengel was recommended to me by a bipartisan screening committee, which we established, and, and they were proud to recommend her name to me, and I was proud to recommend her uh, with Senator Kirk to the president. I look forward to working with my colleagues to see that she moves through the confirmation process swiftly. I know she'll have a chance to introduce her family uh, with the more specificity, but I want to thank her husband, John, and her three children, Katie, Anna, and Jack, for joining. They're all welcome here today, and thank you, Mr. Chairman.